This is the first case of its kind in decades in this ultra-Orthodox Hasidic Jewish community. Four men are accused of trying to prevent a sex crime victim and a key witness from taking the stand. And my law enforcement sources tell me that one of the alleged incidents happened right here on Lee Avenue at a kosher restaurant that's now shut down. 48-year-old Abraham Rubin was taken into the courtroom in handcuffs. He was arraigned on felony bribery and witness tampering charges. Prosecutors say he offered an alleged child sex abuse victim and her boyfriend half a million dollars to make the case go away. It was brought against a prominent figure, Counselor Nekamaya Weberman. The DA says the alleged victim was taken to him for counseling when she was just 12 years old. Instead, she was subjected to three years of sexual abuse. We won't intolerate the illegal interference with the administration of justice in this county. Not only will sexual predators be caught and punished, but those who attempt to illegally protect them by witness intimidation will be prosecuted to the full extent of the law. Dozens of members of the Satmar religious community, some hiding their faces, turned out to support Reuben and three brothers also facing charges. Hertzka, Jacob and Joseph Berger allegedly tried to convince the victim and her witness boyfriend not to cooperate. The DA says they tore down the kosher certification from the boyfriend's Williamsburg restaurant. All four suspects pleaded not guilty. There were various people in the community and also family members that were all there. They have a large family in the community and the family are all behind them. The sexual abuse case against Weberman has rocked this insular community. It also prompted criticism that sexual abuse crimes, especially against children, were not aggressively prosecuted. But now the NYPD is part of a special task force. And it's important that all sexual assault victims come forward to us, to us, the district attorney's office, uh, so we can able to um, make those cases, um, interdict them, stop the behavior. Now all four suspects made bail and had to surrender their passports. Ruben is looking at up to seven years behind bars if he's convicted. Now the case against a prominent counselor is moving forward. That trial is expected to start next month.